Hey guys, it's Tech and we are back with uh, another video this time. So I've been promising a lot of 3D printing videos, but I've not been delivering my promises. So we are back with 3D printing videos. Today we're gonna go, you know, specifically print out a case for the Nexus 5X. Now, since this is a new, relatively new phone, there aren't many, you know, ready-made models out there you can find online. For example, I found this model specifically on Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a, is a website by MakerBot. Uh, you know the only good thing makeup has done has opened up think of us great community you know there are people who are, you know uploading the models uh, and then their designs to this website and you can find them download them and print them it's it's a great community i think the only good thing as i said makeup has done in a while so um so i went to think of us i found this model by david uh and it's a it's a decent model you know it's a simple case the thing about the the, the design this david has done is you know it could be uh you know uh uh, you know a hard shell case also you know a silicon based case it's just you know that that's how I, I think he has designed it so you can use different kind of materials and have a different kind of you know taste and different kind of pick you want so for example i printed this in pla now pla i would not suggest usually you know uh, to people especially in you know cases which usually need slight impact resistance because PLA is a slightly brittle material, but uh, the good thing about about PLA is first of all shrinkage. When you you know printing high tolerance stuff like 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 a case for a mobile phone, uh, you know you obviously need to have uh, a good amount of you know lack of uh, shrinkage because you know the last thing one has to one should do is to combat with you know the settings to get the right uh, to get the right fit, uh, which which you know in case of PLA you don't have to do if you're using ABS. ABS shrinks a lot. And unless you combat the temperature or your you know, room temperature and stuff with a heated bed uh, and, and 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 the printing speed, you may or may not get shrinkage issues. I personally do not like to print with ABS for you know this kind of stuff because I don't really have a lot of ABS applications right now. But but PLA is is, is a good contender uh, for, for you know for a case like this. Another thing about PLA is that PLA is a slightly uh, relatively brittle material. Uh, in case of a, in a solid object, let's say you you make a rectangle uh, rectangle box, let's say that, and you, and you tear it and you up, attempt to bend it, it's just gonna shatter. Basically, you know, PLA is, is that brittle. But over a long, thin surface area, PLA has a decent elastic modulus, so PLA can flex and, and can bend and stuff and retain its original position. So it has some elasticity uh, to a certain extent. Which is, uh, uh, you know, in the in this case of a, of, of a case, in this case of a case, <laughs> uh, you know, in case of this case, um, since the body is you know relative, relative, relatively thin, you have decent elasticity, and you have enough slack to remove the remo remove your phone out of the case and in the case and stuff. So that's one of the big advantages of of of, uh, of printing in PLA. Um, Talking about the, the print itself, now David's model had some issues uh, with slicing. Uh, you know, had to scale the model up to 25.5% uh, higher than the stock one. He had some problem in the slicing, but he cleared that, uh, those things in the comments. So again, another thing about Thingiverse is that you have a nice comment section area where, you know, if you have problems, you can you know, talk about that on the forum and stuff, which is, which is really nice. Uh, that's one of the reasons I really like Thingiverse that much. But I went, I went there, you know, I, and I saw those comments and I fixed that to 25.5 just to combat the shrinkage. So here, the first example I have right here is this black model. This is the first uh, one, so was first successful print I had. I had some failed prints, which I'll show you guys, but this was the first successful print I had and the scale was 25.5. Then I did this one right now for you guys. This is at 25.4 um, and the prints came out absolutely fantastic. Resolution is amazing quality is amazing there's absolutely nothing wrong with it uh, wrong with this uh, this print there is no under extrusion there is nothing it's just perfect and this is what you know this is the resolution you can expect from something like the ultimaker 2 which is just a world class 3d printer now you know if you don't dial in the settings right the, you you can get into some issues for example this was the this was really the first print i did um, using the ultimaker uh, with no settings uh, no you know uh, proper settings dialed in by me and as you can see, you know, the left part for you guys, I think the right uh, right part for you guys, there's this constant weave pattern, which is having so much space inside. This pattern indicates that there, there was a severe under extrusion going on in the nozzle. What that under extrusion basically means skipping of, of material while printing. So you know, the stepper motor might have stopped, stepper motor you know, might have jammed or something like that because of high speeds 
basically under extrusion is, is because of that or maybe because of a clogged nozzle which is unlikely in this case so you have this 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 is a distinctive v pattern uh, which is not exactly uniform and not exactly how it should be as well as there's shifting of axis right here and i'll explain why that happened and it is an interesting observation i think so this is the first print it was a big failure i did the second print again i, I did face some under extrusion but because i uh, decreased the speed in this case in this print uh it's not as dramatic as this so you know again still fail print it had this uh this bending of the axis at the top as well as, as well as on the bottom so again a failed print so i started troubleshooting and finding out what the issue really was and i found out that the leveling i did in the slicer of the of the object i was basically putting the the entire print uh print uh, job on the z axis now the z axis is uh, relatively you know i think um weak axis in, the, in case of the ultimaker so if you're printing relatively large ob objects like these what will happen is that the printer instead of you know completing the one cycle and then coming back and completing that and doing layer by layer by layer it will not do an outline of, of the of the model it will basically go one layer then come back then an another layer basically you see you know uh, for example the makeup or the rafts you know that kind of a system which is not exactly common printing method for an ultimaker so i i failed i uh, had a, a fail issue with you know with the print because of that because of z axis alignment so so i basically just shifted the model uh, on the x axis and i had a perfect print which is right here as you can see there is no problem with the print it came out absolutely fantastic so you know 3d printing you know it's all about troubleshooting it's all about finding the issues and, and then you can have a perfect print you know this is a pretty simple issue i also decreased the speed to 75 uh, millimeters per second i think for this for this resolution and it's it's perfect i think this is the maximum resolution i think there are there is some overhang so if i went slightly slower i could probably solve that but again not a big deal uh, overall a really really high quality print with almost uh, no signs of uh, you know shrinkage and stuff because of the material so that's another important thing i also the final case which is right here i also painted this black so you know you have a choice right here you know which which whichever one you want this is at 25.5 and this is at 25.4 scale again just to combat and see the differences you get with shrinkage which uh, in this case weren't there but again it was just something i did just to learn so i hope you guys enjoyed this video you know it's uh, again slightly complicated for some people but but if you are interested in 3d printing uh, i think go ahead you know this is the right time to jump uh, because it's a, it's a pretty cool technology i think everybody you know should experiment with it if you have an application that is we don't you know don't waste your time but if you have an application and if you're just holding off uh, then I, I don't suggest holding off you know further because it's just you're wasting your time get a 3d printer start working and and then start building stuff you know that's how it should be take it easy and uh, like always have a good one all right <laughs>